How do we multiply rational expression? Let's have an example. Our problem is to multiply these expressions x to the 6th power over 10 multiplied by 5 over x cubed, which is equal to we can multiply this by expanding x to the 6th power and uh, x cubed. We have also to take the factor of 10. And therefore, we will have this partial answer which is equal to x times x times x times x times x times x or multiply expand x to the 6th power 6 times. Then, the factor of 10 is also equals to 2 times 10 or 2 times 5 rather we have also to expand x cubed to x times x times x we just copy 5 pagkatapos natin expand we have to cancel the common factor in the numerator and the denominator in cancellation pwede po tayo mag cancel ng diagonal and vertical. So, in this case, sa taas, in the left side, meron tayong 6 na x. Sa baba naman, sa right side, meron tayong tatlong x. And therefore, pwede po natin i-cancel out yung x. Sa baba, at saka sa taas, we have also another x. And the last one. In that case, ang natira po natin ay tatlong x na lang. Tingnan din po natin Yung atin pong constant number, which is equals to 2 multiplied by 5, which is the denominator of the multiplicand, and 5, which is the multiplier of our given expression. So, we can also cancel out 5 and 5. Then, the remaining answer, or the remaining factor, ay tatlong x at saka yung 2. And therefore, ang ating magiging final answer is equals to x cubed over 2. Let us consider the second example. Tulad ng ginawa natin kanina sa first example, same process lamang po tayo. Kung factorable pa po yung numbers and variables, we have to factor that numbers and variables by expanding the variable and finding the common factor of the whole number. And this will become the factor of 30 is 5 times x times b times b. And we have also to factor 6 times c. And at the same time, the factor of 4 is c squared is equal to 2 times 2 times c times c. And the factor of 15 is also equal to 3 times 5. Then the factor of b, we have Expand b times b times b times b. Kaya po natin ginagawa yung expansion para makita po natin yung common factor ng bawat isa. And in this case, we can easily cancel out the common number or the common variable or the common factor of the given expressions. So let's find out. We have now, since merong 5 sa taas, then, meron na pong 5 sa baba. We have to cancel out for that. Tulad ng sinasabi ko po kanina, na sa cancellation, pwede po tayo mag-cancel ng diagonal and vertical. Then, 6, magkaparihas naman po sila. Tanggalin na rin po natin. Then, we have B, isa. Then, another partner, dalawa. Yung natira po natin, yung 2 times 2, C times C. Kaya lang, yung C natin, meron din sa baba. So, we can cancel out at, at least 1. So, lahat ng natira, yun pong ating magiging final answer. We have to multiply 2 times 2, that is equals to 4, and 3 times B times B, kasi meron tayong dalawang natira na B sa baba. And therefore, our final answer is equals to 4C over 3B squared. Let's have example number 3. Our problem is we're going to find the product of 3D over 3F minus 12 multiplied by 4F minus 16 over 12D squared. Pag nakakita kayo ng ganitong klaseng problem, titingnan muna natin kung 
ang given expressions ay pwede po natin i-factor out yung numerator and denominator ng multiplier at saka multiplicand. In this case, kung mapapansin po natin, yung uh, denominator ng atin pong multiplicand, which is 3f minus 12, ay pwede po natin ma-factor. At the same time, pwede rin po natin ma-factor out yung 4f minus 16. Kaya, ang unang hakbang natin is to factor kung meron pong factorable. Second, cancel the common factor. So, ang possible factor ng 3f minus 12 that is equals to 3f multiplied or 3 min, multiplied by f minus 4. Bakit po? Ang ginawa po natin, we find the common factor of 12 and 3 and that is equals to 3. If we divide 12 divided by 3, that is equals to 4. Kaya, ang kanyang magiging possible factor, ang kanyang magiging factor is 3 times f minus 4. Now, punta tayo dito sa multiplier, which is 4f over minus 16 over 12d squared. So, dito po, ang factor ng 4f minus 16 is equals to 4 multiplied by f minus 4. Since 16 divided by 4, that is equals to 4. Kaya, ang ating magiging factor ay 4 multiplied by f minus 4. Ang kasunod natin hakbang is to cancel the common factor. Pag sinabi natin common factor, titingnan natin kung meron sa kanila magkakatulad. In this case, we have 3 at saka 3 dito sa left side. Then, we have D. Meron tayong dalawang D sa baba. Therefore, mababawasan po yun, magiging D na lamang po yun. So, may mayiwan tayong isang D. Then, we have 4. I-divide po natin yan sa 12. Or 4, divided by by itself, that is equals to 1. Then, yung 12, ay i-divide natin sa 4, that is equals to 3. So, ang naiwan po natin ay 1 as our numerator and 3 times d is our denominator. And therefore, our final answer is equals to 1 over d or 1 over 3d. Ang dali lang, diba? Paulit-ulitin nyo lamang pong panoorin to para mas mapadali po ang ating pagsagot sa mga ganitong klaseng problem, lalong-lalo na pagdating sa rational expressions. Maraming salamat!